it's not a job that anyone ever does for praise or a pat on the back. Um, so many of our patients don't even know who we are or what we do. Deborah Padgett, Infection Sciences Operational Manager, North Cumbria Integrated Care NHS Foundation Trust. Science was always a passion, it was always something that I was good at at school. Well, I say that, I wasn't so good at um, physics, but chemistry and biology were, were much better for me. Um, I loved the study of the human body when I was doing physiology in university. I loved trying to understand um, why our bodies worked the way they did and what affected them when things went wrong. I've been at the infirmary 24 years this year, so on a daily basis, especially at the moment, um, my day is generally sat behind my laptop doing an awful lot of Teams meetings. Um, from a COVID point of view, a lot of that is with working with regional colleagues to ensure that we have sufficient testing capacity across the region for our COVID testing. So a year ago, pretty much to the day, um, the first cases were being identified. And we had a completely new virus that we really didn't know anything about. Um, and as an infection science scientist, um, it's exciting. Um, and that's a hard word to say when you kind of look back and you understand what everyone's been through. But for our profession it really is exciting. We're about to embark on whole new science. Um, it gives our, our profession the opportunity to be seen and be heard um, and really understand what we're able to deliver for the public population. And it's been, really, um, it's been a really proud moment as a biomedical scientist to be able to do that. Um, and we're doing that on top of our business as usual work, so we still have sexual health testing to do and urinary tract infection samples to deal with. In this fight and um, as routine part of hospital life, um, the pathology department is absolutely critical to all of that. Today we've reached the total of 125,000 samples tested in North Cumbria, um, which is a fantastic achievement for a really small team. Um, they have extended their working day, they have given up their personal time, um, and they have gone above and beyond to offer the service for the patients of North Cumbria. Um, and it's a huge honour to manage that team. Sorry, I've gone all emotional now. <laughs> Whew. Pull it together. Yep, certainly am. It's not a job that anyone ever does for praise or a pat on the back. Um, so many of our patients don't even know who we are or what we do. I think I've had loads of Loads of really proud moments. Um, obviously COVID has to be up there. Um, being able to completely um, change the service that you're offering um, at a moment's notice to be able to offer testing for a brand new virus is, is a hugely proud moment to be able to do and do it at the speed and capacity that we've been able to do it is brilliant and bring your staff along with you. Yeah, there's a lot of difficult days. Um, there's been difficult days recently um, looking after the health and well-being of the staff. So many staff have said, oh but so-and-so's got it worse. Well, we all have it worse at the minute, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, and just being able to offer staff an opportunity to come and talk about it's really important. From a science point of view, um, I'd probably go back to my days on call. Um, as an on-call microbiologist being called in to do a CSF sample on a small baby that's struggling with meningitis or the possibility of being diagnosed with meningitis, they're the hard samples to deal with. Leaving that at the door when you've got no idea what the outcome for that patient is, they're the hard ones to deal with and detach from. But ultimately, you know you've had an impact on that patient, they can start their treatment because of the results that you've given and hopefully they'll have the best outcome. Honestly, being a woman in pathology, um, I haven't come across any particular problems. Um, when I started my career, all of the pathology managers here at Carlisle were all men. That has changed over my 24 years here in, in North Cumbria. And I'm really proud to say that we're all ladies now. Um, all of our heads of um, operational managers are all ladies in pathology. I think it's important for women to be involved in any kind of industry, quite honestly. Um, we have just as much to give and provide as our male counterparts. 
Um, in the science field, there are a lot of female science pioneers that have gone before us. I think it's important that we emulate what they've achieved already. I think I'm supposed to say that some leading female scientist was my inspiration. Um, and they have been along the way, absolutely, but actually there are people closer to, to my heart that have inspired me more. Um, my mum was poorly when I was doing my A-levels um, and I was determined to prove that I could still achieve. It didn't go quite the way I would have liked, but we got there eventually and I still got to do my degree. My gran was um, the most career oriented driven person I think I've ever met. Um, and she didn't retire until she was well into her late 80s. Um, so yeah, not that I want to do that, just for the record. <laughs> um, and then there have been lots of people professionally that have helped me along the way as well. I think it's really important that we celebrate um, as, a, as, as women what we can achieve in life um, and overcome some of the adversities that certain ladies have to, to, to reach their career goals. Um, it's a fantastic achievement for us.